we live in a world and in a time where um, photography is all in composition. Mm. Everybody is photographing things all the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you see your your paintings as being a, a sort of antidote to that? Well, I do actually. And the funny, uh, funny thing is, they start to ironically become like photographs. But I do see it as an antidote. Most of what I do has happened through not using a photograph. I mean, I don't use photographs in my paintings directly at all, which isn't to say that I'm not influenced by the camera. I mean, there's some beautiful photographs, but they become, they, unfortunately, there are so many of them. And I, and I, I just... It's a degraded currency. Well, it is, isn't it? And I'd, I'd like to just... A lot of what I do is just to wander and look. Sometimes I deliberately... I don't even draw. I just, I just look and I look again and look again. And each time a little bit more goes in. I'd like you to explain something to me. Yeah. Uh, you've written uh, that at the heart of your work is a commitment to inventing. It's just a, a thing to say to myself, I wonder if I can know enough about that particular thing to be able to go back into the studio and to be real, to recreate it, to just invent it completely from scratch. And that's what a lot of, um, a lot of what I'm doing has, has, has become about. And that gives me a huge amount of freedom, which I do really enjoy. There have been paintings where I've done where I thought, yes, I want that landscape, I want to use that because it's just so good. Like a lot of the landscape is, I mean, sometimes when I go out and I think, oh, this is fantastic, I want to just paint this. But as soon as I start, I start to dislike it. Just, to me, it feels as like I'm not putting enough of myself in there. I've read somewhere that you said that you um, have a reluctant dedication to landscape yeah. painting. Now, why, why, why the reluctant? Well, it's so unfashionable when I was at, well, it's, it still is really, it's a shame. Uh, you mean it's the world of the, of the uh, perhaps not so gifted amateur? That is partly the problem. And I teach a lot of amateurs, or I have taught a lot of amateurs. And um, it sh I shouldn't be sort of, I'm not scathing of them at all. It's just the way they are treated and the way landscape is treated. But there's always, in, in so many of your pictures, there's a sense yeah. of, of humans. Oh yes, there. absolutely, yeah. I like that idea. I, 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 uh, the landscapes that I like to, to produce, the li landscapes I like to see, all need to have for some reason that, that, that small amount of human intrusion. One reviewer said of your pictures that, that what, you, what you, you've majestically managed to create is an English landscape lit by a continental sun. There's um, another world quality about it, which is one of the things which has made me so excited about the landscape. I've been being on top of Whitbarrow when the grasshoppers have been singing, and it's almost as though you could be on somewhere like Crete, because of the white limestone and the, mm. the stunted trees. And I found that sort of exoticism very interesting. I can't help but look at the world as kind of sacred, and it is a perfect ecology. And you do capture this balance between uh, the natural and the man-made. Yeah. That, you know, we're all in this together. This is a working landscape, you know. The yeah, that's right. Working landscapes are the meat and drink of our national parks. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Do you know which path your, your painting is going to take from here on in? No, I don't actually. I never really know where it's going to go. Like each painting, I never really know where it's, where it's going to go. It's, to me, it's like exploring an unknown place because it's ha happening in front of me as I, as I work. I just, think, I just sit there and think about, a lot of what I do is just sit there and think, it's just sit there and look. So this painting here, um, behind me, did take four months, but most, a lot of it was just sitting there looking at it, sort of having almost like a private silent conversation with it and then letting it tell me what it needed to go. They do sort of have a life of their own and they, they sort of start to dictate. The landscape becomes so convincingly real, I feel as I'm a servant before the painting sometime. And I'm spending more time on work, so there's probably less being done, but the, the, the work that is being done, the paintings that are being produced, are, I hope, much more considered. 
because I've always I've always had that idea that what I'm doing is the best I can do at that time. I mean, I feel as though I'm learning every day. I mean, I have to sort of go out anywhere and something will come to me and I'll look at something else. And, um, well, ah, it's a bit more like that. These things, so the, the little bit more information just goes in there so that I can come back into the studio. Ah, it's a bit more like that. And then I'll go out again and think, actually, it's a little bit more like that. So each time is a little bit more. And so hopefully, in the end, I will hopefully, although I think this is more or less impossible, fully understand everything. <laughs> um, but it's like a, it's like a horizon. It's, it just continues to go away from your thumb. No matter how much you run to it, it's just constantly, constantly going away.